Welcome back to another Fire Emblem video. Normally, I don't use dancers, but today I'll make an exception. Just, just one exception. And that's just for the fact that I... Mainly I was inspired by the guy who does all this stuff with just Roy. So I'm just gonna take my Summer Robin, since she's plus 10. It'll be fun, I'm sure. Relevant things here, Rider's Bane, since half the map is horses. Reciprocal Aid, just to use everybody else's health batteries. Distant Counter, obviously, since everybody's ranged on this map, except for two units. Cancel Affinities for the boss, Threaten Attack is for mitigation. And this seal is just because I'm too fucking lazy to change it. The only other really super relevant skill is the Spur Res here, as well as Ninian's Escape Route. I don't even think the second dancer is necessary, honestly. She's just kind of there to look pretty. Now for a showstopper! And to say that line, you know, to make me feel good. You know, I find it really funny, actually, that he, that Narshin on this map is actually a buffing unit. I feel like everybody else should be buffing him because he's like a self-centered prick, but you know. <sighs> That's just like my personal opinion, you know. Hmm. Yes. Where to? So we're just gonna see how this goes. You know, what? I realize. No, no, I can't. I was gonna say I might be able to like move him forward, move her forward two squares, but something tells me that wouldn't be a good idea. This first reciprocal aid isn't exactly ideal, but what's up? It's just to get the um. So I think this guy does too much damage. Uh, 18 damage. Yeah, that's too much damage. So that's basically this turn in a nutshell. Yes. Now we can just move Ninian wherever we want because it's all neat. Yay! Escape route. Woo! Yeah, 18. She would have died. Ah! Tropical attack! Unfortunately, the plus 3 HP ah! wouldn't have helped. I don't think so, anyway. Well. Yeah, no, it wouldn't have. So here's the spot where the Spur Reds comes into play. <sighs> Indeed. That's it. Uh, he'll deal 20, 22 damage without the spur here, so with the spur, she lives with like 2 HP or something. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I might have actually needed two dancers, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, no, we only need one. Where to? Ah! Of course. May the dance move you. Yeah. So the only reason you have. Yeah, the only reason for. What's up? The dance is basically just to do that. What can I do? Understood. Yes. Yes. Whew. What's up? In you. Where to? Cannonball! This is where the the last health battery part comes into play. Um, hmm? I guess I could technically have Ninian also do the job afterwards.
What's up? Yeah, so that's the funny part yes. here. So we're gonna move her away. Funny part here is, is this is like literally. Bravo worm! <laughs> Tropical attack! Huh. What can I do? Whew. It's literally like 150% bait mm. here, so. And that's it. Thank God it worked out in the end. It, it's literally like you just let him attack because of vengeance, making it so that initiating on him is always a bad idea because he'll just take a gorillion damage. And since we're not running a healer, we can't just afford to take a gorillion damage. Although at this point, with his health pool being what it is, vengeance is like almost a one shot, so. What's up? Now that really sizzles! Hooray! We beat like the ultimate lance-hating unit. And that's it. Fun stuff. Till next time.